Alright guys, welcome back to FIFA 06. So, today we're going to be playing Fulham in the Cup. So yeah, a bit of more of a relaxed uh, approach to this game today. Um, I've changed quite a few things around. As you can see, Vastay and Kalon are going to sit up front today. Um, I've put Faye in the defence. Um, I've got Gillen in there. I've got uh, Lennon sitting on the uh, on the right side there. And yeah that's that's my team guys that's my team today i haven't changed the formation i am aware that we are playing another premier league team though in fulham and uh you know so you know what i've got a few i've got a few names on the bench that i can bring on um but it was you know cup games in my opinion good way to rest up some of the team so um I'm hoping for a good game out of this one. You know, I think the problem in our last match is that uh, some of the passing, the crossing, oh God, the dire crossing <laughs> was a problem. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping, oh God, Yaskalainen, where would we be? Um, <laughs> yeah, there was a problem, so, oh my God, don't give it back. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, come on, no. You can't do that straight away. That's fine. Just boot it out. That'll be fine. Um, so yeah, bit of a bit of a. What is that? That isn't. Oh my god. This is the. This is what I'm trying to explain right here, guys. The problem with this game is it always does what it wants to do. It never does what you want it to do. Like you have to be very precise with your with your aiming. Like if you're just a little bit off, it'll do the wrong thing, and that's just really annoying. So. Yeah, it's just going to have to get used to it, <laughs> I suppose, guys. Um, but, yeah, you know what? Let's go with the wing play and the counter-attack. And, you know what? We'll go back with the pressing again. I'm going to do that again uh, and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, Kalon got a good goal in the last game, so I'm hoping for good things from him. Uh, Vaste is going to play up front yet again. Um, you know what? I was really liking Davis up front last time. I thought he played, like, better than Juve has. <laughs> so, I don't know about that. And that's going to be picked up by Escalani pretty easy. I was going to put Walker in goal for this one, but then I decided to not. Um, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to keep Escalani in goal. And what we're doing here, you know what, I, I'm getting a bad feeling about this one already because the way we've played, I know we haven't been playing long, but the way we're playing so far suggests that maybe a Fulham goal is coming. And we keep losing the possession, and that's really terribly bad. But uh, yeah, like I say, <laughs> we have to, we have to get things right. Oh, come on, that could have been. So that was a good run. That was Kale on making the run there. Great ball in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, like players making runs and passing and all kinds of stuff is. You know, don't get me wrong. It's a good game, guys. This is a good game, but it's when bad stuff starts to happen like that like come on there's no re there's no reason for this to happen like giving the possession away too much it's probably just down to us changing the team but yeah either that or Fulham are just hard to play against <laughs> but like I say it's a cup game it doesn't really matter too much although I would like to win it and I would like to try and win a trophy in this game this season so you know I still, you know, I'm still, I'm going to take this seriously for now, but we're letting, we are letting Fulham have way too much of the ball here. Oh my god, honestly, you know what? Maybe you should take counter-attack off, maybe that's a problem. <laughs> you know, I'm going to take the counter-attack off, I'm going to stick with wing player. Oh my god, seriously? Hello, are you players stupid or what? You've gotten worse. Oh my god, it's all down to Yaskalainen so far. This is going terribly bad. It's just a miracle we haven't conceded yet. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? Like, there was no reason to head that out in that direction. Seriously. Oh, and there it is. It was, it was, I told you guys, it was a matter of time. It was a matter of time, and there you go, it's happened. Well, you can't do that if you're not a good player. And he is, it's a super finish, wonderfully controlled, just slid it past the goal. Wow, just wow, honestly. To him. He never let his head go down, he uh, kept on trying, he was about to score eventually. 
just because we can't get the passing right or anything that goes and happens here's Vastir he's going to have to cross it over wow there's nobody there to it here's Campo that's offside oh, damn it. oh my god hits the post oh god You know what, we might have to change the team around. We might just have to. You know what I mean? We haven't really... This is the thing is, though, this season, the only games that we've really struggled in is the Liverpool game and the Man uh, Manchester United game. But, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm expecting us to win every game. Oh. Um, but just, you know, we are, we are, we're doing a little bit better than I thought. So... And go on, you can't miss what? You can't miss that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, win it back. Yes! Yes! <laughs> what? Who was that? That was a bit of Kales, guys. A bit of Kales. You know what? It's not the best goal you'll ever see, but it's something. Well, he did well to, to get in there and win that back. Which I'll take, but we got to change things around in this game, I reckon, because it's from the start. It, it, it's strange to say. I, I mean, I know there's sometimes, you know, and not just in, in FIFA 06, but there's some, you know, games where you know you're having a bad game from the start and things aren't just going right. But this one, it, it's like, you know, that that's luck. <laughs> that's luck right there. And make a good run. Oh. Now I'm pretty sure there are controls in this game, guys, to control players that are off the ball. But the only problem with that is I don't like doing that. I really don't like doing that because... Wasn't it like FIFA 2004 that introduced that or something? And... Uh, no, just no. Just whipped it away from him nicely there. Nolan. He's always looking for space, always looking for a pass. And that's good. Oh, he's taken off it, free kick. I don't know who's going to take this, to be honest. Is it Kochi? Usually takes the free kicks for us. That's going to be Bastier taking it, really. Um, well, good luck, Vaz. Well, that's definitely not on target. Wow. He's not the best option, in my opinion, for a, for a free kick. Six shots each. It doesn't feel like it. It really doesn't feel like we've had six shots each. It feels like Fulham have had six shots, but definitely not us. Uh, I might make a sub then at half-time. I don't know, because I, I'm not feeling it with the, our defence, especially. Well, apparently I'm not going to make any subs at half-time. Uh, I've had a bit of a look, but to be honest, like the, my sub options... I thought I had a few other players on. I thought I had Ben Aim on the on the subs, and I was going to bring him on just to give us a bit of extra... extra defensive... defensive edge at the back, guys. But, uh, no, that didn't really work. And that's going to be stopped quite easily. Um... Yeah, and I've, I've got, um, is it Ngotti on the bench? His rating's gone up to 60 now. Um, so I was going to maybe put him on, but yeah. And that's offside by Vastir, obviously. That's way offside. Um, I'm not too sure about it. And nice pick out there. Here's Kells. I'm glad to see Kells is back on the, uh, the score sheet. Not just in this game, but in the last game. And that's pretty nice. And here's Campo with a shot. Oh, never mind. And that's back in there. No, it isn't. I just, I don't really know how this match is going to go. I think it goes to penalties, doesn't it, as well, if, uh, if nothing can be uh, decided. <laughs> after the, uh, after the 90... Well, after extra time, if it comes to extra time, and that's going to be offside. We're getting a lot of offsides in this one. Not enjoying that. Not enjoying that.
Campo. Oh, make the run. Make a good run. No, it doesn't matter. You know what? No, Fadiga's in a good role. Got a cross in. Oh, get in there. That's a header. Oh, what? How do you let that go through? Campo! Oh, Campo! It was just sat up. You know what? You've got to be so precise with your shots in this game because you literally hold the button for like a split second. Uh, I think he had it covered anyway, maybe. But if you li if you hold the button for like a split second longer, like than you should, it's like I don't know. It, it, you can you can put too much power. You can, what I'm trying to say is you can put too much power on the ball pretty easily in this game. And what is Vazte doing? You know what I'm thinking of taking Vazte off and putting uh, Pedersen on. I think that might be an idea because I'm not convinced by Vazte's performance today. Um, but I guess we'll see for starters. And that's pretty good. And that's totally the wrong man. But whatever. Get in there. Get in there. Oh. You know what I mean? We're not getting... Sometimes, you know what I mean? You've got to hold the ball up to wait for the support. Which is sort of a problem sometimes. Gillen. Oh crap, no, that's way over. Why go for the shot when you could have crossed it in? Look, it's a very even game, this AA. I think this is the most even game we've had in the series so far. Eight shots to eight. So I'm just sort of playing a few players that don't normally play in this one. But I'm thinking we're going to need subs in a moment. Oh, Vaste, that's beautiful. Vaste, oh, you have to be kidding. Man, I can't believe that. I really can't believe that. That's why you're coming off. And kalon has got to hold the ball up. Why is that? They? They're all just jogging, man. And Vaste again. Oh. Oh, and again, nothing there. Get it back out. Back and forth, here we go. And here's Kells. It's in. Why is nobody running after it, honestly? I was going to bring Pedersen on, but I'm going to just leave it for now. And I'm going to put. Um, I'm going to bring Vazte off, like I said. And I'm going to bring on um, Davis. So, yeah. I've got to say, like, Nolan's ratings drop to 69. Like, the ratings are really strange in this game. They just... It's as if they drop whenever they feel like it. If, they, if a player doesn't play, here's Vazte. And again, nobody in the box for us. Come on. Now, so, oh, why does that keep happening? The ball just keeps bouncing over their heads. So what, Fadiga's been playing really good in this one. By the defender. But we can't make that wide play pay off. That's the only problem. I'm going to keep the subs for now. And yeah, here's Kells. Oh, there's no support. There, Lennon. Lennon into the box. Oh, it's too late. There's nobody running into the box for us. And by the time somebody actually gets there, it's just too late. Campo, you know what, I was going to bring Pedersen on. I was going to bring Pedersen on for, for Nolan, but I don't know about it. I don't think it's a good idea. And here's Campo. That's it, it's pulled away from him into the box not bad ah. <laughs> and again you hold the shoot button for that split second too long and then it puts max power on it and then you never gonna score it's so finicky <laughs> it's really sensitive she said 90th minute there's the full-time whistle <laughs> well 
Well, 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 well. <laughs> it was a disaster of a match, that. And we're going to have to go to extra time, and if we can't find a winner now, it's going to be pens. It's going to be pens, guys. I don't know if I can handle pens. I had to do a penalty shootout on this game before. Um, I played as Hull back in the day when I, um, I first got this game. And I got a penalty shootout against United. United were winning for like the <laughs> entirety of the game. And then we scored like a bullcrap header right before the end. And then uh, we ended up winning like 3-0 on penalties. And Man United, I think, l missed all their pens. I think. <laughs> and here's Davis. And again, the power's too much. Like literally, I'm literally tapping the button very slightly. And it just sends way too much power on it. I think he might have saved that anywhere. Again. Oh crap, no, 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 good save. And that's not going to go through. Come on, man, <laughs> this is a very close game. Jensen. Well won, he's looking around him for support now. Little ball played in. And well done. Oh, come on, make a run. Make, there's nobody making a run. Pressing. Radzinski. This is Jensen. I think we've played better since we took the counter attack off, though. I think that's something. I don't know, is that just me? Oh, you. Is that just me, or have we played better since doing that? I'm not too sure, to be honest. And that's not off... Was that offside? No, that can't have been offside. Come on, you could have let us play on there. Well, there we go then. 15 minutes, else it's pens. <laughs> and I really don't want to go through pens, guys. Um, but yeah, like... Uh, I think to sum up this episode, yeah, we have changed the team around, which has its ups and downs because different players have different stats and, you know, I want to, you know what I mean, I don't, it's a cup game, I want to take it seriously, but at the same time, I don't want to play all my big players in this one because I kind of want to focus on the league more, but um, that might have something to do with it. Another thing that might have something to do with it is that the the game wants to do what it wants and I'm just maybe sort of not used to that so here's camps and just put it straight at the keeper Davis that's cool that's cool too here's Davis again you just can't do anything when it when it's one man against four in the defense it's like the, the defenses they're overpowered as hell but they kind of Wow. They're kind of almost like FIFA 2000 and a 5 in a way, as they just sort of stick back. You can't do anything about that shot, though. I'll tell you what, you can't do anything about that. Poof. That, that was just a good strike. You just, you know, defenders tried to get in the way of it. The goalkeeper couldn't deal with it. Oh, dear. Well, anyway, guys, um, little time to get another goal now. Very little time. I've switched it to a 4 3 3. You know what? I might as well just pile another player up there. Lennon's going to come off a of Pedersen for the last couple of, well, about the last 30 seconds, literally. Um. I don't think it's going to make that much difference now. It'd be a miracle if we got through this. Oh my god. And we can't get the ball back, which pr pretty much means we're out of it unless we win the ball back now and run up the other end of the field, but Fulham are not giving it away. 
And oh, unless Kalon's got something here that he can do. I don't think he has though. Nope. That's going to be the full time whistle. We're out the cup. Oh dear. Lesson learned. Don't play weakened teams against Premier League oppositions. Um, we got an ownership email. We were able to acquire a sponsor for a, the training pitch. A company has paid good money to have their name applied to the ground. So we've received uh, an extra thousand. So that's not too bad. And uh, we're out of the cup. It's over. Blah, 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 blah. This is the Mickey Mouse Cup. Not too bothered about it though, guys. Although it would have been nice to have won, I suppose. So yeah, and it says Real Madrid studies options, whatever that means. Anyway, guys, uh, we're just going to have to move ahead head then to the next league game which is going to be against Blackburn and yeah so Chelsea have already won <laughs> Arsenal have beaten Wigan 8-0 no, wow okay then uh, Everton have won 1-0 against West Ham Liverpool have beaten Fulham 2-1 Liverpool have avenged us <laughs> and uh, we're going to be playing back then uh, West Brom and Manchester United Man City and Middlesbrough Spurs and Charlton so yeah guys we're going to be playing Blackburn in the next one in the league um I, I, you know what I mean? What what more can I say than what I've already said? You know, it's just half the time the game feels like it does what it wants to do. And from the start of that game, you could feel the pressure Fulham were putting on us. And I think there's there's no excuse really. You know what I mean? I didn't I didn't particularly I was I didn't really think about the sub options to be honest. I should have put some better players on the sub options. Then maybe I could have substituted some of them at half time. Um, and then McBride got that headed goal, um, and then it, and our goal was just lucky. You know what I mean? There was just there was nothing up front for us. It was just nothing up front for us. You know what I mean? And to be honest, I'm kind of feeling that in a lot of the matches. I think we scored what was it four against Wigan that time, but a lot of matches I'm sort of feeling like we're not getting we're getting some chances, but we're just not getting lucky enough to score goals. You know what I mean? Even when we're one on one, we're not putting things away. The goalkeepers keep saving everything. Um, but yeah, guys, anyway, thank you for watching this episode. Hopefully, hopefully I'll get things right. Comment, rate, subscribe, and share as always. See you guys next time. Take care.